Hi, this is Andrew Wolf. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the structures of the airway. Now, I want to talk about sort of an underlying concept here. There are really sort of two basic categories of airways when we think about the functional units of the lung. So really, the function of the lung is to have um, oxygen brought in from the air and then to cross the alveolar membrane into the blood. So as far as bringing oxygen to the bloodstream, there are, these are called exchange units, or the, they are the functional exchange units of the lungs. And these exchange units include the alveoli, which are little air sacs, which you can see here the microscopic air sacs that are at the very end of the bronchioles and respiratory bronchioles. Now, sort of getting ahead of myself a little bit, but I want to um, get this sort of broad categorization out of the way. So these are the functional exchange units of the lung. And this, these are the only places that gas exchange occurs to the bloodstream. All the other airways from the mouth and nose down all the way down to these functional alveoli and respiratory bronchioles is what's called anatomic dead space. And it's called anatomic dead space because in, in terms of gas exchange it has no role at all. It is inert and dead. So anatomic dead space means that these are, are parts of the lung in which no gas exchange can occur. So the air just, they are passive conduits of air they are just the pipes in a plumbing system uh, to get air to these active exchange units. So let's talk about what those structures of the pass of these passive conduits are. It really starts with the mouth, the cavities, the nasal cavity, and the oral cavity, and then from there. I'm going to move down here to to a picture. Actually, this is a cutaway from Gray's Anatomy, um, which is a classic anatomic textbook um, that is actually in the public domain, so we are all free to use it. Um, so air travels in through either the nose or the mouth, and then it travels through the nasopharynx and oropharynx and laryngopharynx. So these are all part of the pharynx. So the pharynx is divided up into sort of three parts. The nasopharynx, the oropharynx, and the, the laryngopharynx. Okay, now if you look here um, there is a little piece of tissue here and this is a very important piece of tissue because this is called the epiglottis. Now the epiglottis is a piece of tissue that flaps across the larynx um, to close off the airway when we swallow. So if we are taking in food and not air, if we take in a bolus of food and not air, then this epiglottis is going to fold, fold is going to close and the bolus of food is going to go down the esophagus and not the airway. Okay, so that is, we're talking about food there. Now here we have the larynx which includes the vocal folds And within um, the space in between the vocal folds 
is called the glottis. So that is actually the space in between. So we have the vocal folds here. So this is the larynx. We have the vocal folds. And it is this space in between that is called the glottis. So the glottis isn't really a structure, it's a space in between the vocal folds. Okay, and then once we get past the larynx, we are into the trachea. And we'll move back up here. When we go through the trachea, the trachea bifurcates, splits into two. Um, so we have the trachea that splits into two it splits into a right bronchus and a left bronchus. And um, the place that it splits off here is called the carina. And that's an important structure to be aware of. And the carina is just that, that area, that little sort of triangular area where the right and left, here let me draw that in a different color so we can see that clearly. The carina is that sort of pointy area where the right and left bronchus um, bifurcate. Now, the right and left um, bronchus then keep subdividing further and further and we get smaller and smaller branches of bronchi. The branches um, narrow and narrow um, and eventually we get into smaller structures called bronchioles. Okay so that's my basic overview of the anatomy of uh, the structures of the airway. In my next video I want to talk a little bit about the functions of those structures. In particular I'm going to talk about the uh, the specific um, cellular lining of the uh, of the airways and how that works to protect our, um, our lower airways from infection in foreign bodies. So I will see you in that next video. Thank you very much.